Hi everyone, Renegade 67 here with part 46 of so Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Journey Case 5 Line. Last time, yeah, I was a bit of an idiot for not presenting the fingerprints earlier. I just, I don't know, something going through my head was telling me, no, that's not gonna work, I don't wanna waste my time with that, but I should have tried wasting my time with that sooner, because it was correct. Anyways, we're talking. Yes. I have to admit, I was more than a little perplexed at first. You insisted you did it, yet there was no incriminating evidence. That's when it hit me. It's not that you're unwilling to tell the truth. It's that you're incapable of doing so because of a certain individual. Ooh. What an intriguing notion. A certain individual, you say? Do you think I'm protecting this person? Protecting? No, I think afraid of is more like it. I think she's afraid of someone and protecting someone else, but meh. If I'm not mistaken, the person in question may have persuaded you to silence. For argument's sake, Mr. Wright, who may I ask is this person speaking of? The one I am supposedly so frightened of? What is this person's name? Duh! Well, Miss Sky. Mr. Wright, you are addressing the Chief Prosecutor. Do not forget your place. Make sure you just don't really spill the beans. My apologies. Could you please tell me a bit more about the circumstances? Alright then. We were partners until two years ago. I respected him as a detective. Assuming he is respectable, then tell me something. Why would he try to hide this crime? His crime? His crimes? Both you and Edgeworth were brought before a board of inquiry for what you did. Spe specifically, hiding and forging evidence. Of course, these are serious offenses. Why is it though that Chief Gant's name was never mentioned? Chief Gant? Edgeworth didn't know the truth behind the forgery. The only party who could have possibly investigated that evidence was... Me. I had access because I was second in command of the investigation. I don't think that's the full story. But also one other, Damon Gant. If you intend to accuse Chief Gant, you'll need more than just words. Oh, I got more. Show me proof that Chief Gant falsified evidence in that case. Okay, hello Mr. Jar, where are you? I just found this in the in a safe in the chief's office. This jar piece and this strip of paper. Cloth. Yeah. You know what these are? They're pieces of evidence from the SL9 incident. I You are cornered to start talking, or at least play the corner theme, that'd be cool. Person concealing evidence was none other than Chief Gant himself. Now tell me, why are you taking all the blame for him? Yes, touche indeed. It's as you surmised. I cannot disobey the Chief's orders. Even if it means being found guilty for murder. Why not? Come now, Mr. Wright. You can't possibly expect me to be able to tell you that. Three days ago, I had no choice but to cooperate. In the murder of Detective Goodman. Perhaps I should say, follow orders. Yes, that's more accurate than cooperate. Oh boy, get into the heart of it! Although I can't tell you all the details. I can say that I was given an order that day. You disposed of Bruce Goodman's body. You'll find it inside the trunk of Miles Edgeworth's car. So it was already in Edgeworth's car, wow. Uh, wait, well, but what? Oh, okay, no, that makes sense, never mind, yeah. You went to the, um, that's what I thought from the beginning, actually. I think I said something like that. He went to the, he was, Goodman was killed before either murder, 
And then Lana had to fake that murder because she was either protecting someone or, I guess, afraid of someone. Meanwhile, the other one was like a fake Goodman. Yeah, I thought it was either that or it happened afterwards and the Goodman at the um, at the evidence room was, was the real one. But I dropped that theory fairly soon, I think. Despite what everyone believes, you were not the one who murdered Detective Goodman. Correct, but you did make a witness out of someone. Someone you probably knew would be there. I was trying to take the body out of Edger's car. The trunk was broken. I discovered the, that murder weapon while inspecting the body. Murder weapon. You mean Edger's knife? No. When I found the body... This was the knife stuck in it. Ah ha 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 ha! I actually said back then, wait, is that the murder weapon? And it's like, wait, no, that's from SL9. <laughs> that is the murder weapon. Oh wow. From the SL9 incident. Serial killer Joe Dark's knife. I couldn't just leave that knife in him. So I took it out and stabbed him with another knife. That would be Edgar's knife. That's right. Even though he was already dead, my hands were shaking at the thought of stabbing him. That's why I ended up cutting my hand. I see. Yeah, you're not a very good murderer. And that is the reason for the bandage on your right hand and the blood that Miss Darth saw before you actually stabbed him. Well, I mean, you didn't actually stab him, but yeah. Yes, it seems that I got blood on the victim's shoe as well. And then... She saw me just as I plunged the knife in. Miss Star. I know you weren't all bad. I knew you weren't all bad. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, why'd you need to hide Dark's knife so badly? Yeah, Stark's knife. Do tell. You intrigue me. It took a lot of work to finally close the dark case two years ago. It was over with. I didn't even want it to be ever want it to be opened again. My intent was to prevent that by whatever means possible. That's a little serious. So you hid Dark's knife? The weapon used to stab the detective was evidence in the Joe Dark case. Before it got out, which it would, the reporters would have a field day with that. Just wrap the knife in your scarf and hit it. An edgeless exhaust pipe. Right. Then I called my sister. To tell her what happened, and to ask her to hide that knife that was inside my muffler. You asked Emma? I didn't want anyone on the force to know about this. That would explain why Emma is so confident. Ooh, okay. About Lana's innocence. But then didn't she know about the muffler? Unless she was stopped before she managed to say the whole thing? Maybe? Speaking of phone calls, I had a bad feeling about one of them that day. Bad feeling? The truth is, after I see those orders from Chief Gant, First thing I did was make a phone call. A phone call to Patrolman Jake Marshall? Why on earth would you call him? The lead investigator for the SL9 incident has been, had been murdered. I wanted that fact to be kept hidden and I needed help. He was the only other person I could trust. Or at least, I thought I could trust him at the time. However, it seems that after I spoke to him, he went off on an escapade of his own. Oh, you mean... Not wanting the case to die, he decided to take things into his own hands. Wait, so you made a phone call before the murder? Because, yeah. You had to have. Disguised himself as Detective Goodman and tried to steal the evidence. He had already stolen the ID card. 
It seems he still hadn't made up his mind to break into the evidence room. After my phone call, any remaining doubts he had must have disappeared. Your phone call caused the incident in the evidence room? That's kind of serious. I'm afraid that's all I can tell you. But Lana... You've earned my respect, Mr. Wright, both as a defense attorney and an investigator. Even though we aren't an investigator. <laughs> We're better than some, though. Now, please. Don't pursue this any further in court tomorrow. <laughs> You're not serious, are you? I'm right. I um, I, I didn't care what Edris said, and I don't care what people say in future cases, because I know there are some that don't want me to find them innocent. But I find them innocent anyways. I think. Am I right? Yeah, kind of right. Sort of. But, um, yeah, you're, you are innocent whether you like it or not, and I'm going to prove it whether you like it or not. I'm going to bring Dan down. Detective Goodman's real murder. What went down in the chief's office two years ago? I personally think he's Marshall's real murderer too. Let's tango. As Marshall might say, maybe. He'd probably say something like that. No defendant. <laughs> Trying to reach her all morning. Where could you be? And where's Emma for that matter? It seems as if something's been happening behind the scenes. Oh, that's not good. I thought that was gonna be um Gant yeah, actually. Edgeworth! Knowing you, you've already figured it out. Oh, you know what could, could be awesome? If we work together and take him down. I think that might actually happen though. It's concerning Edward is clearly not a fan of Gant after what's happened, but Who the owner of the seven sevens ID number is? Well, I have a pretty strong hunch. Looks like I'm not the only one who's figured it out. Alright, Edward did his own ace turn investigations. Haha, uh -huh, see what I did there? Without um, you know. But we didn't get to use him. Yeah, Edward's cool, bro. You know, the only reason this trial didn't reach a verdict yesterday is because there was still room for doubt on this ID card record. That number does belong to whom you suspect, and no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. True, not yet. In any event, once all doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. On the defendant, five minutes after the trial starts, one will be found guilty. I see what you're trying to do. It's the same thing as Lana, and I don't like it. I, okay, I, again, he, Edgeworth knows the truth pretty much, I'm pretty sure, but at least to a certain extent. But at the same time, he's on the same boat as, as Lana. He thinks that she should be found guilty, even if she's not. And I don't think so. I figured you'd say as much. That's why I came here, to hear what you have to say. This is the first time he's ever done something like this. Lana's hiding something, and the only way we'll ever know the truth is to draw it out of her. The truth? Everything goes back to the SL9 incident. Don't be stupid, today's the last day of the trial. Don't have time to reminisce about the past. Depends on you. What? If she's found guilty, you'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. Think about it. See you in court, right? Yeah, I'm predicting it right now. I'm just gonna totally help us take Gant down. If I'm ever gonna find out what Chief Gant has on her, it's now. But duh, last day of trial. Yeah, so where are Emma and Lana? That's confusing. 
Anyways, court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Mr. Lana's I'm crazy. For Miss Lana Sky. The defense is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Normally, this is when the prosecution puts forth its opening statement. Before that, the police chief has a proposal to make. Chief Gant. Let's do it. Morning, folks. How's everyone doing? Hey, Yaji, been back to the pool yet? No, I've been drowning enough as it is in my work. Oh, that's a good one. Don't think I can top that. You don't mind me asking, Chief, exactly what is this proposal of yours? Lana, that is to say, the defendant, has asked me if she could speak directly to the court. She wants to do what? Having heard what she intends to say, I feel she should be granted her request. As in, you're ordering her around, and when she was like, I got an idea, or maybe you had the idea, I don't know, either way. In the end, it should save everyone a lot of time and trouble. So our first person we have to beat down is Lana. That makes sense. If anything else, we need a defendant to want to get defended. What's this all about, defendant? I'd just like to make one simple request, and I'll be finished. Well then, what's your request? Your Honor, I'd like you to put an immediate end to this trial. What? 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 No! You're protecting Gant, I don't care if you're afraid of him, I don't give a ball. You are not ending this trial now. Confess to all charges against me. Uh, yeah. On that day of the year, I murdered Detective Bruce Goodman. In the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. Um, I know it's illegal, but... Well, no, because you're our defend defendant. I know the detention centers, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I don't know if they do in the Phoenix Wright universe. I can't remember if it said so in any other case, but I'm pretty sure normally the detention center would have a camera, have people talking, I don't know. No, Lana! Objection. You bet your ass I object. You can't. Your Honor, the defendant's claim does not change the defense's plea. In that case, Mr. Wright, I no longer require your services. Oh, you bitch! Lona! Your Honor, I hereby forfeit my right to an attorney. Oh, she knows all about the legal system. She'll do anything she... We need somebody to... Ugh, we can't do anything. We're noobs to the legal system, pretty much. Especially compared to the Chief Prosecutor. Edgeworth, save us! Prosecution may lack direct evidence against me, but it has sufficiently proven its case through, tes through testimony and circumstantial evidence. That's what Wright has done, so I would like you to render your verdict now, if you please. Uh, 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 say no, judge, say no. Say no to peer pressure. Well, the defendant certainly has the right to self-represent- representation. The request is legally valid. Although this is an unprecedented situation. Indeed, it appears there's no further need to continue his trial. Even if Mr. Wright may feel otherwise. Aw oh, shit. Come on, Emma, come in, say no, you're not guilty. That might snap on out of it. Here's the time for the verdict to arrive. This court finds the defendant. Objection. Or Edgeworth. I, I saw either Edgeworth or Emma coming, one or the other. One moment, Your Honor. Mr. Edgeworth! The prosecution has not yet proven the defendant. Defendant guilty beyond reasonable doubt. Yes! Oh! Edgeworth, you are awesome! Any ruling at this stage would certainly be pre premature. Come now, Worthy. I understand this is a difficult time for you. But why don't you just be a good little boy and keep your mouth shut, hmm? Hmm. I don't think I care for your tone, Chief Gaunt. 
What? Creating another fabrication to cover up your past mistakes. Sorry, but I'm no longer the naive little boy you would have me be. Yeah, he kind of grew a pair after case four. With this sudden confession from the defendant, it's obvious to me some kind of deal was struck behind the scenes. Some kind of deal, hmm? Not everyone operates as you do. Worthy. Yeah, it's true, Edgeworth. You had a deal in case two. I, I, I hate bringing this back up, but... Were you having a bad day? Did you just want to find any way possible to be right even though you would lose? Just because... I, I don't know. I That must have been a bad day, because... Because cause I, I, I would I, I don't think Edgeworth was an incompetent lawyer, even before we met him. He was an evil lawyer, but I don't think he was incompetent. I think case two and case three were just his bad days, his off days. Case three makes sense because he just lost. Case two, I don't know, maybe he had just went through an earthquake and he was all shaken up. I thought so. Your Honor, the prosecution would like to change its first witness. Oh, to whom? As its first business, the prosecution would like to call Miss Emma Sky. I request the court hear her testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, I am ex exercising my right to self-representation. Representation. I don't think we need to continue. I don't care what you think, Miss Sky. <laughs> oh yeah, you tell him, Edgeworth. Edgeworth is really awesome. This is why I like. Uh, I don't know. This is why when I got to the first game, like, this is what he's like all the time in later games, at, for those who don't know. But, like, when I got to the first game, he was such a prick and so just bad at attorneying, I was like, wait, what? Right. The exposure of truth sometimes results in tragedy. However, no matter how tragic the truth may be, it would be an ev even greater tragedy to avert one's eyes from it. Very well. The court shall grant the prosecution's request. That's okay with you, right, Chief Gunn? Worthy, you'll live to regret this. Mark my words. Bring it on! Ms. Emma Sky, please take the stand. Looks like Edgeworth has decided to take the horse by the reins. The what? I should know what that means, shouldn't I? That's a horse thing, though. I'm not a horse person. I think it's a horse thing. Now then, witness, please state your name and occupation. Um, my name is Emma. I'm a Sky. Ooh, okay, I was wrong. We're not giving the beatdown with Lana just yet. We're doing it on Emma, which will probably inadvertently beat down Lana. I don't know why I keep saying beatdown, but. I'm Lana's little sister, and I want to be a scientific investigator. Two years ago. You encountered the serial killer Joe Dark of the Joe Dark Killings. Is this correct? Yes. Ooh, Edgeworth. Going for a home run right away. I'm trying my hardest to forget about that, though. I'm sorry. But I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to recall those events one more time. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember this trial it concerns the murder of Detective Goodman. Nah, we've done it before. We've brought up past trials. Manfred brought up a whole past case. Is an incident that was resolved two years ago really all that relevant? If an incident that was resolved 15 years ago can be relevant, an incident that was resolved two years ago can be relevant. Well, well okay then! He sure gave in fast. <laughs> Edgeworth has got his, uh... If there's one thing he got from Manfred, it's how to persuade the judge real easy. Please testify about what happened to you two years ago. The trip to yesteryear has finally begun. It's bound to lead to the truth behind this trial. Can I save? Yes, I can. Um, uh, I'll continue this next time. Let's play Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Case 5, Blind. And alright, Edge was helping us. I was waiting for this to happen. But, um, anyways, next time... Cross-examining our partner. Ooh boy, I wasn't a big fan of you anyways. I'm gonna like this. Yeah, um, see you next time. See you next time, guys. Words speaking. I have problems. No outro phrase. Bye.